my gorgeous soul, welcome to your monthly May Astrology, direct from my boudoir. Um, yes, it's the best lighting today is here, so we're going to do it here. Anyway, it's a punchy little month. We've got a grand earth sign. We've got a grand fire trine. And Jupiter is still retro, so there is work to be done. Let's get going. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Aquarius, the first, well, maybe nearly three weeks of this month is all about your home and family. It is everywhere. You're, all you're thinking about is your family, family get-togethers, healing family relationships, family socializing, maybe there's some pretty big events going on in your family or big issues that come up in May, but also your home. You're thinking about redecorating, you're thinking about moving, you're thinking about making the space easier to live in or enhancing it in some way and you need to make somewhere in your home a temple this May and it will really benefit your energy. It kicks off with a new moon and the new moon is in your home and family zone as is Mercury on the 6th. So you're like right it's the end of a cycle, you're changing things, you're shifting things. If you need to move you'll make a very very strong decision or you may even be moving. If there's someone in your family that you want to let go of or perhaps that you've recently lost someone in your family, you're processing that energy, uh, you're being given a helping hand to deal with that sense of loss or change or transformation in your family uh, in a very, very kind of positive and nurturing way from the universe. You are ready to start again and have a fresh start when it comes to your home and, and you may find yourself spring cleaning like a lunatic and, and just you want everything to be right you may create a, a sacred altar a sacred space with crystals and sage and do things that kind of give you a focus for how you can manifest your desires in your home uh, we then have mercury conjunct uranus there's a surprise coming uh, an electrifying shocking unusual surprise coming connected to your home or family around the 8th of may that's uk time check it out in your country um and your opening to knowing the truth and, and working with what you've got. Venus is entering home and family sign as well. So you're feeling very positive in terms of your home. It means you want it to be beautiful. You, you will, if, if it's in a bit of a mess, you will feel that you have to tidy it up. You have to paint, you have to buy some plants. You have to do things that are going to transform it. If it's to do with your family, you want, you feel very heart connected to your family or your soul family, be they blood related or not and you, you are sprinkling love and nurturing. You may have kind of barbecues or you, you may do things that bring people together and you feel safe and snuggly, anything to do with the people that are your closest. Mars is shifting signs and making you really want to get fit and get healthy and you may sort of, be careful you don't take it to extremes, but it's probably about doing something physical because it's Mars, the energetic planet. Also, that's great for work. You have great stamina when it comes to your work this month. The full moon in Scorpio is in your career zone. So there's a part of you that feels um, an, a, a revelation from the universe on that day, something from your unconscious or perhaps uh, you reach a peak experience when it comes to your career, but something's shifting. It's like you get a very important message. Venus is conjunct Uranus connected to your home. In fact, there's some good news basically around your home and family this month. There are surprises, uh, there is enlightenment, and there's a, a healing coming. Now, on the 21st, ha, that's when the good times roll. Not that the other things aren't good, but you feel on a high of, of creativity. Uh, you feel close to people. You can draw a soulmate to you. You're opening your heart to, to all of life's pleasures as we have the sun and mercury in your pleasure zone. And that's not just about, it's about pleasure, it's about soulmates, it's about being really creative, it's about children. And you're like, mm, oh, hello, this is a shift of energy. And you're feeling genuinely optimistic and excited about life as we approach the end of the month. Amazing. Anyway, gorgeous, you take care and I'll speak to you soon. Now, don't forget my gorgeous soul. Please come visit me on Instagram. It's my favorite thing. And I do all this amazing stuff, which I'm sure you will love. I do live stories. Uh, I do pick a tarot card reading on stories. I do tarot card of the day and astrology of the day as well. Um, anyway, I would love to share the love with you. Come meet me.